Okay, sweetie, don't even worry about it. Don't even get upset. I'm just going to be asking you a couple of questions to ascertain whether or not you are a patriot or a filthy, red communist bastard. That's a simple enough procedure. There's nothing to fret at all unless you are hiding something, which I don't think you are. Now, can I get your first and last name, please? Yes, first and last, please. Okay. Oh, silly me. I forgot part of my brain at home. Silly Billy need to let this down. Okay. Perfect. And what is your date of birth? Mm-hmm. That's quite on the you're about 20, 30 years old. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much the age range popular with this whole movement. We do have some old timers, I'm not gonna lie. But really, we're just kind of investigating those who are in their late teens, 20s, 30s, sometimes 40s. Hardly ever do we have to go above 60, but we do do it when we need to. Walt Disney was actually tried at the committee, but of course that patriot just passed all tests. I mean, I, I felt bad that he even had to show up. I was like, Mr. Disney, please continue making your motion pictures. There's no reason for you to be here. Then there's others like Eartha Kitt who were a little too French. They were just a little too European. They needed to go. And others such as figures where they're just trying to be all smart about it and i'm like um, it's simple questions okay a patriot could answer it in a day in fact in a minute he would be more than willing to be answering it in a minute anyways i i just gab i'm gonna be asking you the first question you will be tried if you do not pass this test successfully and you will be tried before the committee who will then repeat these questions, but on tape. So, I'm here to determine if you have to go over there and get retried because you failed or passed. So, first question. Have you ever attended a communist meeting? Okay. Second question, have you ever subscribed to or put down your name for any type of pamphlets or propaganda distributed by any communist or socialist parties? Okay. Well, that's uh, an interesting start. Third question. Have you affiliated with anyone suspicious or convicted found to have had communist ties or activities? And what were their names? Oh, okay. long list of names. Do you usually just hang out with anyone willy-nilly despite the fact that they're a traitor to the human race country and just about the world itself? <laughs> That's funny. You're a real funny lad. Now, okay, I'm gonna be asking you the next question. The next question is, have you had anything to do with any peace movements? Any peace movements? Yeah, just kind of like anti-war type of activities in general. Okay. Okay. Next question. 
have you had anything to do with um, anti let's just say have you had anything to do with some politicians that endorse more socialist policies okay Have you ever given money to any socialist or communist organization? Well. Okay. There we go. Do you have any association with what is now known as the radical fairies? Basically a bunch of gays. You have no association. Gays are homosexuals. Do you have anything to do with the homosexuals? Okay, so it's confirmed. Now, how did you know what I meant? Hmm. The homosexuals are trying to rebrand and be called gays. They say that it would be more fitting for them. It's like, call yourself what you like, but... I'm going to note down that you knew a little too much. There we go. Now, do you or have you? Do you or have you had any associations with people internationally suspected of communist activity? understood that you are employed yes okay good you see the unemployed are automatically questioned as well the very fact that you're unemployed might make you a little more vulnerable to the socialist communist propaganda keep in mind look at the Russians they promised a whole lot of things but now they're in work camps and um, the unemployed were very quickly unalived, so... Now, I take it that your employment is with the trades. Okay, could you give me a little more detail, please? Okay. And do you have any connections or ties to any socialist or communist unions? seems like you're being very honest with me. I do appreciate your honesty. I find it very refreshing, you know. I I usually just don't come around and now do I. Most people like to stretch the truth a lot or tend to plead the fifth and it's like, I, why do you keep pleading the fifth? It, just answer it like an American would. But we're gonna move on. Now, in this employment, do you happen to have any subordinates beneath you? Subordinates, such as employees, but I don't imagine you have any employees. Oh, okay. So you own your own business. Okay. Business owner. Okay, perfect. Well, in that case, um, when it comes to your subordinates, do you tend to vet them in a very uh, patriotic way? Do you tend to make sure that you're hiring Americans? And that there is activity that is regulated within your company. Not regulated in the communist sense, but regulated where it's just... You're keeping an eye to make sure that none of those workers start getting any Russian ideas in their minds. Okay. Russian or Chinese. Okay, very good. Well, 
so far you're doing pretty well you do know way too many communists though I'm gonna need the um, more specific directions to these communists and their organizations so since you do know a little too much I'm going to be asking you some follow-up questions okay now, when it comes to these acquainted communists can you tell me where these locations that they were to meet up at or their um, any details about what it is that they might or might not have told you okay it here that you are also involved in the arts scene is what I'm seeing here the arts scene the arts scene is a little bit questionable suspicious so I'm just gonna be asking you a couple of little questions about that experience now when you were in these art scenes were you very affiliated or involved with the modernism movement anything that has to do with surrealism or existentialism all of those modern movements coming out of Europe soulless, rootless, artistic expressions that express nothing except the decay of society and civilization the decay of one mind and soul okay, yeah, you love it okay, you love modern art okay now we're getting somewhere Is this here where you ended up meeting a lot of these said communists as well? Ah, of course. I knew these filthy commies didn't have good taste. There we go. What was that? is getting a little more interesting. I'm starting to get a little grasp as to why it is that your name was put forward. What was that? Yes. Yes, your name was put forward. That's why you're here. There was suspicion that you might be affiliated with such communist parties in the United States of America. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all but now I'm starting to get down to the bottom of it so when you were in these art scenes did you by chance donate to any of the groups? okay and who did you know was an active member in these art groups? okay you another question in these art scenes did you by chance were you merely a visitor a consumer or a an artist yourself And what type of art did you tend to produce? Okay. Well, that all sounds mighty fine to me. Yes, um, yeah, with these answers, I'm gonna have to say that you failed your test, your interrogation. I'm gonna re recommend or refer you over to the committee they're gonna have to follow up with you about these little questions here kind of ascertain as to what it is that they're supposed to do with you now you see to support something as grotesque as modern art it's just a spit in the face to anyone with 
sensibility. No offense, but that's just not tolerated here. No. I'm going to jot down your name and have it written over, send over a report. Are scheduled. Oh, you got something on your face. Look at that. It's a little bit of red. I'm going to schedule a meeting for you to meet with the committee. If you try to skip your meeting, we will find you and we will bring you back to justice. So try not to miss your meeting. It is vitally important that you need it, that you make it. Okay. I'm gonna tear out this piece of reminder for you. Give me one moment. However, if we were to find an extensive amount of communist activity in your background, then no amount of mercy will be shown. Not in this time and age. The very fact that we would even have communists in the United States of America is a tragedy. A deep tragedy. We cannot allow these godless people to infect our world and our country. It cannot be done. We are a God-fearing populace. Hence why we changed the dollar bill. Hence why we changed a lot of the rhetoric. On in God we trust and under God. For that is what this country is. And it shall remain that way. I mean, heaven forbid if Russia ever became a devoutly Christian country again and somehow we ended up lying in the ditches with these socialists and communists as they basically tear apart the fabric of culture, society, structure, basically eviscerating one's mind just to prime yourself to be the victims of released criminals. It's unfathomable and it will not happen on Joseph McCarthy's watch. Which reminds me, you will be meeting with Mr. McCarthy on that date. Keep that in mind. Keep that in your pocket. Don't forget to come to your meeting. And if he requests you return, you return. Okay? Okay, good. Well, thank you for showing up. Thank you for coming to your little pre-trial. But yes, you're going to have to go to full trial. So, just try to get as much evidence. Cross your T's, dot your I's. Try to get as much evidence to support whatever case you have to make sure that you look as American and patriotic as possible as long as it's genuine. If it's just a little mistake on my part, then I do apologize, but otherwise you're going to have to prove that. 